Hey, wonderful students. So this is a review on volume. Throughout this video, it's going to pause and make you answer some questions, okay? So volume. Remember, volume is like feeling a figure. And either we've been doing a cone, a cylinder, or a sphere. Now, for a cone and a cylinder, the volume formulas are volume equals one third capital B times H and volume equals capital B times H. Both have this capital B. We need to remember what capital B stands for because if we don't, that's where we mess up our problem. Capital B stands for the area of the base. And for both of these figures, the shape of the base is a circle. So I always need to look at my formula chart. Okay, if capital B stands for the area of the base and my base is a circle, the area for a circle is pi radius squared. So we're gonna put that in pi radius squared will be for B's, the capital B's here. And then our last one is for the sphere. And the volume formula is volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's the difference. This formula has the cubed in it. So let's look at our first example. So let's say I have a cylinder. Okay, and here are the dimensions. In this cylinder, we need to first find out what the dimensions that they gave me. 10 feet represents the height from base to base, circle to circle. So 10 represents the height. Seven is all the way across the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw out my base to the side here. Seven is all the way across. Therefore, the seven represents the diameter. And we've been doing enough problems where we know we don't need diameter, we need radius. So half of seven is 3.5, and there's our radius. So now I have my information, I'm gonna get my equation. Volume equals capital B times H. Capital B is the area of the base, and the area for a circle is pi radius squared. So I'm gonna write volume equals pi radius squared times height. Volume equals pi times 3.5 squared times the height, which is 10. And then we just plug that into our calculator. How are we gonna get it wrong if we have our calculator? So I'm gonna pause the video and I want you to do two problems. There will one be for a cylinder and one for a cone. And then let's look at our last example for a sphere. Let's say that the sphere had a radius of two and three fourths, and that's the information that it gave us. Before we freak out, because we see a mixed fraction, remember three fourths, we can put three divided by four in our calculator, that would give us two point, that would give us 0.75. So therefore the radius is 2.75. I go look at my formula chart, volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. Volume equals four thirds pi 2.75 cubed. Again, plug it in our calculator and get your answer. So here's a challenge. Let's say that a cylinder had a 
circumference. The base had a circumference. 